Some pioneering new research with a real surprise about stress. We know colds are contagious, but can you catch other people's stress? And does it have an effect on your risk of stroke, heart attack, depression? ABC's Mars Gavacampo tells us. Super stressful situation. Does just watching them make you uncomfortable? Well, researchers say if you witness them in person, the emotional effect could be even worse. They now believe stress can be contagious, just like a cold, and it's all around us. Look for it. They're studying it at St. Louis University. This man is behaving like he's stressed out. You accuse me of stealing a gift card. But researchers are actually interested in Van, the stranger sitting nearby. The question, will he catch the first man's stress? After measuring Van's heart rate and cortisol levels, they found the answer was yes. He caught the other man's stress, even though they'd never met. You can elicit these responses just by sitting and watching someone else uh, under stress. Researchers say stress is passed on through things like facial expressions, voice frequency, odor, and touch. And while you can get it from a stranger, studies show you are four times more likely to catch stress from someone you know. So I'm gonna start Watch what happens to these moms. UCSF researchers attached cardiovascular sensors to measure their heart rate and other indicators for stress Aww. in a potentially anxiety-inducing experiment. They had to give an impromptu speech while evaluators scowled critically. So this is really new for me. You can hear the voice shake. Their children played happily in another room. Yay. And when reunited with mom, they were hooked up to sensors too. All the babies of stressed mothers had an equally elevated heart rate. They had caught the mother's stress. Here's the baby's little heart rate. This toddler even seems uncomfortable with the evaluator who was mean to mom. You think she's picked up some cues here from the mother. Yeah, that we're going to be a little cautious. They say being aware of this can help you balance your own emotions. The first step to managing secondhand stress. Mara Campo, ABC News, San Francisco.